And I'm Walter Boley. This is Live Free Games Bite Size Topic about all the big Nintendo news, some yeah. of the biggest news in a while. Yeah, this is this is this news isn't as big as it should be, to be honest. They've Nintendo has done something they said they would never do. Nintendo is partnering with DNA to make smartphone games with Nintendo IP. But don't worry. They're not porting any of their old games. See, so I, wasn't, like, I wasn't worried about that. I like, was because the touch controls are really crappy. Eh, I guess. And they will be building their games from the ground up, mm -hmm. basically, and they will be like making their own games. DNA will not be making any games. Basically, right. DNA is just there for a subscription service across their six-pillar mm -hmm. platform and is like a place to like publish their apps, basically. So, now, what that means, are you saying if I buy a game on my iPhone... Can I link it to my Nintendo ID and play it on my 3DS? Is that what they're saying? No, I, basically the message that I got from it. Uh -huh. They basically just did everything that on say it. They're making smartphone games to get smartphone gamers to buy their stuff. Right. Like 3DS. Right. So, this is big shit. Yes, and I also noticed that uh, a Nintendo executive, uh, I'm, I, I remember his name, but not quite, so I'm not going to say it and butcher the name. I think that's it. Satoru Iwata. Yeah. He said that the fr the free to play model is a lie. So you don't have to expect microtransaction after yes. microtransaction with these free to play games. And what I think Nintendo is going for here is they're going to show you how bad smartphone games are. Do you know what I think this is? I think people who invest in like smartphone games and yeah. apps, they're all like saying, Thank God, because right. like you think about how many one-hit wonders there are in the App Store. There's no right. safe money to like put right. it in. Nintendo safe. Yeah. They got they. You know they're gonna make because the one thing Nintendo is good. As much as I'm not a huge fan of the Wii U, uh -huh. they they know how to make games for their hardware that they're right. making it on, and they make good games. Right. And if there's someone who can make tablet games mm -hmm. and touch-based games, it's gonna be mm -hmm. them. Because like the most successful smart ga smartphone games right now are your Candy Crush. Back when it was hype, Flappy Bird, like these games, they just feed off being like addictive. Like that's, I think Nintendo is going to bring quality games to the yeah, mobile marketplace. I mean, Flappy, if you think about it, like these games, like the, some of those smartphone games mm -hmm. have been big. Draw together, like uh -huh. where you draw pictures. Yeah. Nintendo fucking did that already right. on DS. It was like Mario Paint and like yeah. stuff like that, and like Picto Chats. Uh -huh. They did that already. So Nintendo, they could have been in on all of this like big name stuff. Mm -hmm. So now, but you're expecting like their big IPs, Mario. You're expecting, uh, you know, I can't think of any. I am uh, not expecting a Pokemon game on no? there. No, because I think I think that might be their most requested. It would be, but it would. They they're saying 100 percent they're not going to cannibalize their own hardware. And if they made a Pokemon game, mm -hmm. like a real Pokemon game, that would destroy the 3ds. Right. Oh, I see. There's no re I see oh, There's saying. tons of people who buy that just for Pokemon. Why like, well, do I need that? I got my smartphone. <laughs> but see, so, I did yeah, buy it just for Pokemon. <laughs> but, but then I played. Yeah, other I started stuff. getting other games. But yeah, I, I, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I see your point there. I see that. I mean, their stock mm -hmm. went up like through the roof as yeah. soon as they announced this. Because let's, let's be honest, 3DS is not failing, but it's yeah. nowhere near DS. Now, what I was thinking about. This is mine. You got like your smartphone. Now obviously you got like Nintendo games or Nintendo apps on the smartphone. Now, what if they're creating like a smart glass kind of thing with Nintendo, like Xbox's smart glass? But so you, instead of needing the Wii U gamepad to control the game with the tablet, you got your phone. You see uh, what I'm saying? It would it would really depend on the game. Like, well, yeah, definitely the game. But know. like the games that they want, like you know, five players, one guy's on a game pad, and then four controllers. Well, instead of being on the game pad, you can be on your phone. Maybe. Just some kind of compatibility with. I'm sure there will be a compatibility mm -hmm. thing because of the service subscription. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's gonna probably be like Xbox Live thing. I think they're pro finally gonna have like a joint account. Like mm -hmm. not, they're not gonna like say, hey, you buy this like Mario little uh, Mario iPhone game that you can play on your Wii U, mm -hmm. but there'll be this, hey, you bought A Link to the Past on your 3DS, you can download it for free on your Wii U, or something right. like that, like, unified accounts. Yeah, because they so only have a couple of cross-play, cross-buy games right now. I, and they, yeah. they should be, it should be. Everything. As universal like, as you know how many times that yeah. people buy the old Legend of Zelda's and old Mario's? Unless it's, it's like a game that just cannot run on 3DS, it really should be. Like, yeah. It should so, be. So, 
don't be worried about DNA like screwing up Nintendo IP. They're not making yeah. anything. So, but then the another big piece of Nintendo that they did in their six pillar <laughs> thing, they have tablet, PC, and smartphone on one side. They notice I got 3DS, Wii U, and the NX. NX. This is a thing that I'm guessing they announced their next gen, uh, their new system console. Mm -hmm. They said we're not going to hear anything about it until next year, 2016. Right. I think they announced that to deflect concern away from we're only going to make smartphone games uh -huh. now. And obviously the Wii U is failing so, miserably. So, how are you feeling about this as a Wii U owner? They're, I don't care. You don't care? Like, well, let's be honest. Like, mm -hmm. I'm down with it. But I heard, like, the, I heard rumors that people think the NX stands for, like, Nintendo crossover. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. We'll see. They gotta do something. What I think is I think they are finally going to unify handheld and console That's gaming. That's what I think too. I think that they're gonna, it's not gonna be the 3DS and the Wii U, it's gonna be NX. that NX. And it can be console on your TV or it can be on your handheld. See, that, that would have been the big thing with the Wii U, mm -hmm. if you could take your tablet on the go, and that's mm -hmm. what I thought it was originally, yeah. but obviously there's no like mm -hmm. stuff, like hardware mm -hmm. in the tablet to be able to do that, it's just remote connected to it. But then I thought that if Nintendo does that, you know, they have a handheld that is also their console, well, they're not, their graphics aren't going to be able to keep up with Xbox One or PS4. They know that. Right, but so now they're just embracing that. They're just saying like, you know what, our graphics aren't going to be Last of Us, mm -hmm. they're not going to be like that. But our games are going to be with you. Here's the thing: you know. they could, they could do this, but they don't need to. I know, but I mean, I think Mario Kart Eight looks amazing, right? Graphics-wise, Smash Bros. looks amazing. They know how to like push their hardware boundaries. Wind Waker HD looks fantastic. It's either I don't know. It's either that or just have them be third party, like drop out of consoles. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to do yeah. that, especially with all the fucking money yeah. they're going to make from making yeah. smartphone games. So, I, like I said, I think they're going to unify the handheld console genre, and so it's just going to be the NX that you can, you know, on your home, boop, on your TV, play on your TV. I think the statistics say that, like, the majority of people play their handheld systems at home anyway. I do. So the yeah. fact that you can't just uh -huh. beam your thing to the TV is stupid. Right. So they're going to fix that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've, it's big. I can't wait to hear more about it. I think that's the, some information they didn't want to reveal, uh -huh. but I think they had to. Not to scare people off. But see, like, I, I don't hate the Wii U. I think it has potential. I don't I think, hate the I Wii think Wii it has Wii. wasted potential. A lot. But I just don't want to see them give up on it so fast. The, I think this six-pillar thing showed they're not going to give up mm -hmm. on it. I don't think that even though they're going to talk about the NX in 2016, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to come and out in 2016. I, the, thing, the thing that I need out of NX, if it's going to be that handheld console combination, which this is just us speculating... But the thing that I need from the NX more than anything is I need to be able to play every Wii U and 3DS game on the NX. I don't need no backwards compatibility. I need all backwards compatibility. They usually have that. Right. They're, they're the only ones who do that. You but, can go into so Wii if you're going to combine it like that, like the gamepad kind of looked like they were, if they finally yeah, take that leap, every 3DS game and every Wii U game needs to run on it. This thing, I don't think that, I don't know. This, they, I don't really know. This could be anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't dis like the Wii U. I'm very adamant that I think the gamepad is terrible. Right. They had an idea, and I, if I feel like Nintendo made the gamepad for thinking of like one game, Zelda, uh -huh. they're like, oh, the map and the inventory would be good, which it is. Yeah, it is awesome. But when you have a game where it just shuts off and it right. does nothing, like a Donkey Kong, yeah. it's terrible. Right. It's it's useless. No, but then it, you got games like where they where they tried and maybe you can kind of say they missed is Zombie U, like. The game received mad reviews, but the people praised the gamepad integration. Like when you opened your inventory, your character on the screen looked down into his bag, and your bag was the gamepad. Yeah, but like I don't like that's the thing with the gamepad. They had an idea, uh -huh. and the second that like the first couple games, like they just mm -hmm. they're like, we don't know what to do with it. Yeah. They're like, well, why the hell did you design this thing if you don't know what to right. do with it? Especially, I don't know. And then, and then the new Legend of Zelda looks like it's taking advantage of it for a huge amount. So this is the, the new Legend of Zelda game is the thing I'm concerned about. Is this going to be a Skyward sword S game? Where it's like the last hurrah for the system? If it is, because I mean, I do know, I'm not stupid, I do know that literally the second like PS4 or Xbox One, they're already thinking of the next system. Mm -hmm. Already. But, I don't know. If they're going to be coming out in the next two years with this, mm -hmm. they got to do something with it. Because right. they're just saying... Oh. They also have another uh, game announcement coming, don't they? 
Yeah, Famitsu DS Plus Wii is a big something. I think it's a magazine. Right. In Japan, they're teasing that a major Nintendo game announcement is going to be coming soon. And then the quote is something along the lines of, what other Nintendo franchise besides Mario moves consoles? That was the quote. The big... I don't know. I've, I, I saw, think of Zelda if you say it like that. But, yeah, but... That, it's not, it's not going to be Zelda. I know. Game. This is the thing. I heard a bunch of people rumoring that... Like, they, they said that they think it might be a new Dragon Quest game that's mm -hmm. not going to move systems yeah, out here. Really In Japan, it's huge. True. And there are Dragon Quest fans, not, uh -huh. not crapping on the franchise. But if it's a major announcement, it's got to be one of the big big names. Big Metroid? Players. I hope. But again, Metroid's a niche game. Like, it's not... I, I think it, it's built up a following. It's, it, it has this core following, but it's not like, like a game that everyone right. knows about. So, I personally think it's going to be a Mario game. You should. Wait, you think it's going to be a Mario game? It's about time. For a real like a 3D, 3D platformer? One. Yeah, like a Galaxy 3 or something like mm -hmm. that. Like the real installment. Like 3D World was good, but it's not the real 3D, 3D World game. 3D World was amazing. It was, because every first part of Nintendo game is amazing. But it's not the 3D one that everyone mm -hmm. wanted. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted Galaxy 3 because Galaxy 2 was so good. Right. And I love it. And I want it. Well, I, I, I can't. I was thinking maybe Metroid... And then I was thinking of leaving more niche, I was like, F-Zero? I was like, I don't know. Ooh, I would love that. Yeah. I would love a new F-Zero game. It's about time. It's been a long time. So we got F-Zero, uh, we got Metroid, Dragon Quest, if it's still talking about Japanese cons consumers. Um, I don't know, I just, when I, when I think huge game announcement for Nintendo, I think either Mario or Zelda. Right, me too. And Zelda, we already know what's going on with that. Right. And they haven't been, like, shoving Mario down our throats mm -hmm. like they have been, been kind of, like, years before. So it's... Now, if they were really trying to screw with us, like, if you're trying to think of it's not Mario, what if they meant Luigi? Cool like, that. Luigi's Mansion or something like that. Uh, I don't feel like that would fall under huge... Wasn't that one of, like, the best GameCube games? I mean, I think so it's pretty I good. So I, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. But... I don't know, they announced, they already, like, a Luigi's Mansion sequel is on 3DS. Uh -huh. It was, it was good, uh -huh. but... That doesn't fall under, like, huge right. announcement to me. Or maybe this company or whatever magazine it is, maybe it's huge to them, but not huge to, like, right. the public, because it is a Japanese... Or a true blue Kirby game. Not quite like Rainbow Curse. Uh, Kirby. <laughs> That's for kids. Straight up. It's Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they have something weird. Maybe it's another yarn game. Jesus. But... Uh. Let us know what you think about all of this crazy Nintendo news. I'm Nick Cato. I'm Walter Boley. This is Live Through Games by Size Topic. We'll see you guys next week. See you. Or next time there's a good news thing. Yeah. Uh, next week. Who knows? Maybe next month. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow. Keep the calendars open. Wait.